Hi, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to find the inverse of a power function. Um, just like any other inverse function, the steps that we take, the first step is to rewrite f of x as y. So it's just easier to write it as y instead of f of x when you're solving because sometimes working with this notation can be a little cumbersome. And then step two, what we want to do is actually switch the location of x and y. Remember, an inverse function, what it does is the x coordinates become the y and the y coordinates become x, so they actually switch places. So we have x equals y cubed minus 1. Our next step is to get y by itself. So step three is to solve for y. So we actually want to get y by itself. So our first step in getting y by itself is we would move the 1 to the other side. So it would become positive 1. And then we want to get y completely by itself. Right now, since it's cubing, the opposite of um, cubing is the cube root. So we would take the cube root of both sides. And so if we simplify this, we get the cube root of x plus 1 is y. And then our last step, remember because this is um, the inverse of it, we do want to rewrite it back in inverse notation. So we're going to write y as the inverse of x. So instead of writing y equals, we would do f negative 1 of x, which really means just the inverse of our f function is equal to the cube root of x plus 1. And this gives us our final answer. So the inverse of x cubed minus 1 is the cube root of x plus 1. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or any additional topics that you need me to cover, please let me know.